Today, we are going to be discussing the top 10 cryptos to potentially invest in for mega millions in 2024. Let's delve right into this project. But before I do that, I'm going to be speaking a little bit about Bitcoin and updating you on Bitcoin um, while we do this video, guys. Today, the Morales money bubbles. And essentially, as you can see here, we got some of them pumping. Some of them are uh, a lot more but there are some that are pumping today. So that's pretty cool. Cool. sitting at about $1.764 trillion. We're kind of sitting even Stevens and $81 billion in trading volume. Bitcoin is slightly down at 0.2% for the day today. Today, the fear and greed index is currently sitting at 60. And um, yeah, it's a little bit down from yesterday. And today in today's news, guys, Let's delve right into the Bitcoin charts because once Bitcoin breaks above 48,000, shout out to Crypto Rover, that is when the real party starts. Have a look at this chart here because if you guys see this, we're basically looking at a resistance level here, uh, 2013, 2014 to 2017, a resistance level, we pull back and then we had a major pump. The same thing here, resistance level, we had a pullback after hitting that resistance, pump. We are now doing the same thing. Maybe we have a little bit of a pullback and then the continuation in the pump because that is what is going to unfold here very, very soon for us. Now, according to Lark Davis, you guys can see here, shout out to Crypto Lark, BTC has experienced a 13% correction after hitting a peak of 49K last week. During previous bull runs, we saw multiple 30 to 40% corrections throughout the cycle this volatility is what crypto is famous for. If you can't handle a 13 or 30 percent correction, you're in the wrong market because have a look here. This is the whole journey to the upside, but yet 38 percent, 38 percent, 33 percent, 38 percent, 36 percent, 29 percent, and so on and so forth. This move here was a a uh, 30% move of this entire move, just so that you guys are very much aware. So if you don't see that in, the, in the, case, the case, well, the, Bit the Bitcoin network is growing faster than ever before. The orange line is the addresses that are increasing with a non-zero balance. And then the price is continuing to stabilize and getting ready for its next pump to the upside. One of, one of the coolest things, things is, 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 is one and number one of the top 10 cryptos that I'm about to share with you. Because the final deadline for seven spot Ethereum ETFs are in four months time around May. The first one, is, the first deadline is 12th of May, just after my birthday. So that's uh, pretty exciting. So I am quite, sorry, 1st of May. Uh... No, where are we? Oh, sorry. Here's the deadlines. Excuse me, guys. Um, ba, 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 ba. So 7th of May, Galaxy Invesco, 7th of May. Well, guess what? That's my birthday. So maybe we get an ETH spot uh, conversion and then Grayscale is doing the same with their Ethereum also. I like it. Things are moving. If you guys to know, want to know, coin, the are literally coin. about to explode. If you are not prepared for this, have a look at this chart from Stock Money Lizards. You guys know how much I like Stock Money Lizards. So let's keep it simple. The bottom equals 500 days. And then after the halving, we had this massive uh, 3.618 a, a FIB extension. And maybe we'll draw that on the chart for us. But basically here, uh, 500 days up until the halving, maybe this one is a bit longer, about 550 days, but to the three, uh, 3.618 halvings, altcoins essentially could get us up to about six and a half trillion dollars. I have been speaking about that for a very, very long time too. Now, the ETH, the ETH uh, spot, uh, spot ETFs coming in May, the first final deadline from the SEC, ETH futures already approved, so that means ETH is already classified as a non-security, not a security. EIP-4844 uh, coming to lower lawyer two fees big time. Uh, sorry, lower, layer two fees big time. Uh, Bitcoin halving coming, probably an XRP ETF as it is also not a security, as we all know. 
2024 has some massive catalysts getting ready. So do get ready here. Guys, I love this. Let's go and have a look at this video right here. Uh, this is from uh, Valkyrie. 95% buy for sure Bitcoin, sure Bitcoin ETF to trade on Thursday. Just I want to share this with you. If you get past today, the SEC tomorrow says, okay, you're all clear. You can start trading on Thursday. How soon before you turn around and try to make other spot products for different crypto assets? You know, I think we're going to see a lot of filings come out for uh, Ethereum. I even think we might see something for Ripple, given uh, the recent progress. Uh, you notice that Grayscale just added Ripple to one of their trusts that's publicly traded. So it wouldn't surprise me if we saw Ripple or Ethereum spot ETFs out there. I really don't know if we're going to do that or not. I think those are more retail plays and people have other ways to access them. But uh, given given that this this market, anything could happen, anything could happen. McClure, and and um, Steve just is actually saying that ETH ETF and uh, spot ETF and XRP spot ETF are in the looms. So we have two coins already, Ethereum, Ripple. What is next, guys? Well, the next one is next Phantom, one is because, Phantom because Phantom cuts its staking requirements by 90% in a bid to increase its security. Well, Phantom Foundation expects the changes will beef up Phantom security without slowing down the network. Now, there is something that you need to know. The staking threshold was cut from 500,000 FTM to 50,000 FTM, currently worth about 19,500. The foundation said the change will strengthen Phantom security while making it more accessible than ever to run a validator. The more by having more validators, a network makes it increasingly challenging uh, for malicious actors to launch attack. The foundation said on January fifteenth, which was two days ago, guys. So um, point number three you know, is point number three. Uh, is, sorry, point number four essentially is Uniswap. Uniswap budgets for a 300, 300K for a version 4 development with a $150 million token launch KPI. Amazing stuff, guys. That is insane. Now, point number, point number five, five is, is Hedera. Why is that? Well, first thing about Hedera is that Hedera and Algorand, and this is from January 11th, partner to develop a decentralized wallet recovery system. Now, first of all, I love Hedera on its own. I love Algorand on its own. You guys know that I am invested in every single one of the projects I have already spoken to you guys about. So there's none here that I'm not invested. If you guys want to buy these coins, use my spot links down in my Bybit and my Bitflex links down below and you guys can go ahead and get some crazy awesome bonuses. Now, the one thing that I just want to say before I carry on is that blockchain ecosystems and uh, Hedera Algorand collaborated on a new alliance and open source protocol to troubleshoot the need for decentralized recovery for digital assets. In other words, perhaps with the two of these partnering, in the future, we will be able to recover our lost assets. And this is called DREC Alliance, okay? Um, which I really like, and I will do a future video on for you guys. So make sure to stay tuned right there. The other one um, is uh, coin number, oh, sorry, so we're still on Hedera. So as you guys can see, Hedera here, wallet, Snap goes live, connecting the Hedera network with MetaMask's 30 million monthly active users. So this happened yesterday, uh, MetaMask snaps, Okay, this is for uh, Wallet Snap. So Hedera's Wallet Snap. We will do a video on Hedera soon. Hit that notification bell so that you guys can check that video out. Coin number, sorry, Hedera. Also, the third thing about Hedera, shout out to Old Coin Daily, is the Hedera network approves $408 million of HBAR for the ecosystem growth. Uh, the Hedera Council announced that it has uh, voted to give the board approval to allocate 4.86 billion H bars of additional funds toward further development of the Hedera network and enabling its decentralized governance. The, the vast majority of that allocation, 4.26 billion, is going to be there to build. Polygon. Coin. All right. Coin number seven is Polygon. The Polygon or POS chain is also nearing 400 million total unique addresses. 
Three years ago today, this number was only 129K. Bam, all the way down there, guys. Now, not only that, but Polygon is also, uh, has also, the POS chain has passed 3.5 billion transactions already. Coin number eight is Cardano. Now, this is according to Stake Pride. You guys can see here diamond hands moving and storage. This is very interesting because this moving company in Brooklyn, New York, uh, diamond hands moving and storage, very, very interesting. They're literally working for free, um, essentially to be paid Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano. So the moving company is going to make it. Cardano. Nah, I love it. And as and you, as guys, you can guys can see here, coin number nine, um, and I'm going to give you guys a bonus point, but coin number nine is uh, injective, and the number of ninjas staking injective increases exponentially recently. Drop if you're one of these ninjas. Um, so basically, as you guys can see, it has literally reached 120,878. Are you one of those stakers or in the ninja, uh, the ninjas? Let us know down in the comments below. Now, the one other thing about Injective is that Injective also breaks its all-time high in TVL, okay, of 55 million US dollars. And this is just the beginning, guys. Number nine, nine uh, is Arbitrum. And um, this is from Sice Chad. You guys can see here that the amount of Ethereum, as we're talking about, flowing onto Arbitrum is huge. Guys, I have no doubt that we will very likely see XRP, Ethereum, Polygon, Avalanche, Cardano, um, Optimism, Base, um, all as ETFs themselves as well. So as you can see, yeah, what, I mean, look how this is flying onto the Arbitrum train. Coin, Coin number 10 is Make a Dow. And why is that? Well, D3M of Spark, Direct Spark DAI, 400 million extension has been deployed to Spark.Fi, raising Spark's maximum debt ceiling to about 1.2 billion, a new seamless flow uh, of DAI available to be borrowed at predictable rates through Spark.Fi, guys. Lastly, Tron. Tron. And why would I say Tron? Well, capture some of the current data from the Tron scan or the Tron network. It has processed more than 7 billion transactions and has more than 2 100 million accounts check it out here guys 206 million accounts 20 billion in tbl locked up total transfer volume uh about 10 what's that 10 10 trillion i don't know that could be 10 billion that's 10 trillion i would say total transactions 7 billion so why would we not be looking at tron it is one of the oldest and yet it is still here developing and growing guys you saw my coins. What do you think? Do you own any of these bags? Let me know down in the comments below. I would love to know, guys. So as Let's you guys go can see, and have a BTC perfectly rejected off the top of my purple box there. Um, and that is because we are underneath this level right here. Um, so do we continue down is the question. RSI is indicating sell pressure is not quite there. We're holding upward. Um, uh, this upward level here to be very honest with you so if we have a look at this um, and we draw this trend line in here you guys can see there that we're actually holding that trend line there right now um so i believe we could even come pull down and then pump if we break this trend line guys the likelihood is we head down to 38 39 my trades btc slightly down at uh, four percent down my arbitrums 117 percent up my beam is 145% up. My cake, I just added some more to it, but I'm still down 15%. My GMX is down 9%. My ICP is up 38%. My Joe is down 27%. That I don't like. I'll have a look at that and sort that trade out. Um, my optimism is also down about 29%. I'll do the same there. Quant is up 62% and tier up 95%. So... Oh, and then my Muria trade is only down 5%, guys. So things are looking things cool, are looking cool my, my Bitflex account, my Bitcoin trade is still down a little bit. And then my ETH trade is uh, actually up a little bit, I do believe. Yeah. 
My ETH trade is up a little bit at 6.8%. So we are waiting nice and patiently here for the markets to change. Thank you for subscribing to the channel. Appreciate it. Like the video if you enjoyed it. We will see you later. Thanks for being here and have a good day.